Well, good morning. Welcome to another episode of Papa's Workshops. These are for Adam, Brady, Luke, and Brenna. But before we get started, we got to check in with my assistant. There she is. Your garden, the fort, are you? Here we have a little treat. All right, let's get to work. All right, um, so this is part six of the Newport card table and the part two of carving the Newport style ball and claw feet. Um, so we, the previous episode, we got the ball kind of roughed out uh, top and bottom. And so now we kind of need to start defining the actual claw itself. Um, so let me uh, show you some pictures here. All right, here's some pictures of the ball and claw feet off of actual uh, card tables. Not all the same card table I'm working on, but, uh, but similar. So these two are Townsend's, John Townsend, and these are John Goddard's. Um, and we're gonna kind of go with this style here. Um, and if you can really see that in the back, the back toe is, see how that's the John Townsend, they're just straight, but you've got a, a little bulbous thing on the back there. That you can't really see in this picture, but it's, it's just straight here. Um, and the other difference is this is this goes back farther. See how it the where the leg comes down? It's farther back on the ball than it is on these. So this is the one we're we're shooting for. And uh, I've I had used this template earlier to define it, but I'm looking at this. The this part goes up higher than the back. Um, so I made another template like this, so I think it looks more like this. Um, so we're going to use that to define the edge. So our next step is we're going to lower everything above that uh, by like a sixteenth of an inch. All right, we got the first one roughed out. You see, we're just lowering it just a little bit, and, and we're not super worried about getting close to the line. We're gonna we're gonna work on this later. We're just kind of defining where that edge is going to be and then taper it from, from there up. It's about six inches up from the bottom. Uh, and so you want to make sure that line, looking from the side, that it looks like it's you know a gentle curve from that line on down. So we're going to do that on four places, two in each leg, and then uh, go to the next step. All right, so we got all these done, and I, I rounded this a little bit. We'll work on this more as we get this fully defined. Uh, and I went ahead and marked up uh, an inch and three-eighths. That's where the top of the claw or the talon is going to be. If you can see that. So that's the very top right here is one and three-eighths, and it, and it slants down. But right now, I just wanted to find that. And then the top of the knuckle, uh, since we're looking at the back, we find the top of the knuckle here and the top of the knuckle there. And that's what this, these two lines there are. So that's pretty much uh, marked out. And this is where we got to go up, up into there. So we got that. So I got that marked and everything. Um, so now what we're gonna do is work on the front three. So on these side ones, again, I've got the one and three eighths for the top of the, the talon, this first knuckle, and then the second knuckle is like about right there. But So we're gonna take this line and with a rasp and make that flat up to this point. Then we can measure up there's seven eighths between the, the first knuckle and the and the second knuckle, and it isn't a distance from the bottom. It's it's just between those two since it's at an angle. So we're gonna on both side ones we're gonna take that much off, and the front one uh, it's not quite as much, but the same idea. We I've got a ramp marked. 
we're just going to take a rasp and one in the front is not quite as much. So we do that and then on these on these side ones and both legs then we can mark exactly where the knuckles are set. All right. Looks like I didn't really need to mark that front. I think, uh, so anyway, I got the, the ramp on this side and on this side done. And so now what I need to do is just, I can just flatten that out like it was the, gonna be the top of the curve. So, I can just do that till it's, Now I can mark my seven eighths up for the knuckle, and then uh, and the same on the sides, the side ones create a bit of a flat spot here. It's going to be rounded, so that's kind of the first step in rounding it is to get that top. So now they can mark the seven eighths up from there. And uh, so that's where that knuckle is going to be. And then on the, on the front one, I forgot the uh, the front one has three knuckles. So if we go our seven eighths up. It's about there. The next one is going to be about three quarters. So it's about there. So we need to flatten that a little bit. So that next one is three quarters. So it's going to be right about in there. And only the front one, the front uh, finger, the claw, has the three knuckles. The others, the others have just the two. So I'm going to modify my template so that we get that cut more, most of that off on the template since it goes all the way across. So this is going to have to come down quite a bit in here. But we do have to allow for our... Or uh, tendons that are coming down. I guess that's what you call them on the top of that. Um, but we're going to be way too tall by the time we cut that. So, so, like I said, that whole thing will have to come down. But we'll need to start working on on moving the ball farther back, and then see how much we have to bring that down. Here, I've started roughing that out, and just. A matter of taking the more gouges and getting that deeper and then uh, then go with the flat blade and start shaping the ball so this is what it'll look like the other one and again what we're after is that the that ball looks like it's continuous through there. And you can see we've, we've got a lot of meat that's got to come off of this. Um, you see on the, the original, those are, the toes are pretty thin. So we just need to get that whittled down a little bit at a time. All right, we got all the top of the balls roughed out. Um, so I think what I'm going to do now is go ahead and start on the uh, claws, the talons, the toes. I don't know what you want to call them, but this part. So we're going to get those kind of shaped and then just start working our way up uh, on the toes. Uh, so I've got another template. <laughs> so I'm going to use that to uh, get my curve kind of where I want it. Um, and I use these templates because I am not a master carver. <laughs> I am just a, I'm not a professional. I am a hobbyist. 
woodworker that likes challenges. And I've just kind of worked myself into these things, just going one challenge at a time. Uh, so I need those templates to help me get the curve right and being consistent on all of the, I mean, it's a crutch, but I've not been doing this for 30 years. So um, I don't have all those uh, muscle memories. This is the second time I've done these Newport uh, ball and claw. So it's, it's not like I've got a lot of experience doing this, but I found you can just, if you just take small steps, take your time, uh, things will work out. So let's, uh, let's take that down. On the top of this is not a straight line. It, it kind of slopes. This is going to be the line and it slopes down from there. The, the, the barrier between the um, the flesh and the toe, or the, the claw, whatever, that kind of slants down. So we're going to take a curved gouge and, and make that and lower this part to be a half inch above the ball, and then we're going to carve it down. All right, that's what it looks like. And now we need to draw the center line back because um, the next step is we'll need to form the toe this this way. Um, but so let's get the center line. There we go. So I'll need to do that on the rest of these and then we'll, we'll uh, get the width of it right and it'll be you know pointed all right now that we've got the, the profile done I've taken and marked the side profiles so we're going to be about three eighths of an inch wide at the at the base I guess and then at the very tip we're going to go down to I don't know about a little over a sixteenth of an inch so we just need to shave those all down and everything. And uh, this is what it's going to look like. So now we can uh, round, round that. It'll make it a round piece. And then finally we'll go back and go through. See, so yeah, I've marked where we have to go through to the other side, but we'll we'll get it to the sides uh, pared down and rounded out, and then we'll go back and do do all those. Make sense? Right, so I'm working on rounding those. I found it was easier to stand it up, and uh, then I can. I can trim those that way, except for the base. I'll put it back over on the the other place, the other bench. Uh, so we're getting there. And I got all the, the holes marked, which we'll do next. All right, so I got the first one undercut. Uh, and uh, I took uh, scrapers. I got a, a scraper that I use on the ball. So this lower part of the ball, I'm going to go ahead and smooth as I go around. And I use that on the talon as well. And I've got a circular one here that I use to, to go up there. See, I've filed the, the corners out so that that doesn't dig in. So I've got a smaller size at the bottom and a bigger at the top. So I'm just going to work my way around. And I've got some files that... Uh, I can get down in there better clean to clean that part up. So it went pretty well. Um, see, there's the other side. It's a little tedious to, to just, you have to just kind of chip away at it till you get all the way through. This is the first time I've done this, so that came out pretty good. 
So we just work our way around on the, on this leg and then the other. All right, we got the little talons all all uh, undercut and smoothed out. Um, so now we're going to start working our way up. So on the the center toe and the two outside ones, we're going to uh, the center one we've got one, two, three knuckles. On the side ones, we've only got one, two. So we're gonna work to those knuckles and we want it about a half inch wide and about a half inch above the ball. So these, these will have to come down. And then once that, and then we're gonna round that. So it'll be a tubular shape that goes to that last knuckle on both of these. And then we'll flatten it between, uh, you know, make it a straight tube from knuckle to knuckle. Um, and so what that's going to look like when it's done is like that. And this is just a rough, a rough thing. And on the side ones, um, I mean, we when I get there, we'll turn it, but it, it doesn't go, it kind of goes off center a little bit. Like, let's see, really get the camera. See, it, it's skewed over from where the talon is. And that's, that's kind of the way it, it has to be on that first knuckle. And then it kind of goes back uh, towards there. And then we'll have the tenon that's gonna come come down, right? This this part in the center will be lowered, and so there'll be like this rib that, that comes down into, into the center of that. But right now, we're gonna concentrate on the two sides uh, of toes and the center toe, to get it rounded up to the knuckle, and then trim this area in here a little bit. It, since that line is where the, the knuckle is, we want to kind of come down toward the Talon, if that all makes sense. So, all right, ready to start on the side toes. I got the the front one done, and you can see our blank. We we went straight up with our saw cuts. If you remember at the beginning, so now since we want that to be shifted slightly over, we we need it to be half inch wide at this point right there. So we need to knock off. Uh, a lot of this and and accentuate the curve here a little bit to get us to that half inch uh, rounded over uh, sphere or whatever or toe all right all right so we got the front toe two side toes all roughed out so now we need to do the same thing on the back and it's going to be a half inch up that far but it has two uh, little bulbous places. And this is the prototype I did a few years ago. So it's rough, still needs to be uh, thinned out. So we're gonna work on um, getting that bulb defined and this, this one here, and then we'll have to cut up into the, uh, in between these two and, and shape the ball, get that all all refined and do that on both legs all right got the the back little pieces uh roughed out i still need some final shaping so now we need to work on these on the side toes in this area here and to start that we need to um this we need to take and, and lower some of that. See the, uh, the the tendon part that go to about the middle of that, and it actually goes back and then goes up. And the same with with the center one. So we need to kind of move things back, to get the top of that area straight, and then we can start shaping those side toes. And then finally we work on the in the middle. 
All right, I'm still whittling away at it. I'm just working these areas. I had to uh, go down deeper with the ball, which I had to lower these a little bit more, but I'm still just kind of just roughing it out and seeing how it looks. Um, so I still got the back side to work on. I think we're getting there. How that looks and from there. See, that looks like a ball. Take that bottom, that looks like a ball. And that pretty much looks like a ball. Now, one thing I had to, I think the center of the ball is, is here. So it has to go down lower on this side than this side. It looks kind of goofy, right? Looking at it just like that. But when you look at it with this side, you can see that the ball is there. So, like I said, we just kind of keep nibbling away at it. All right, got that kind of smoothed out, but you know, looking at the pictures here, it looks like that back, especially that one, it, it I've got to go, I've got to make this thinner. So I got to go farther down, cut that out a little bit, kind of bring this more like this, and this one up more. Just got to go. It just looks too too fat in through here compared to this. I've got other pictures, but. It's like the ball almost wants to touch right there. I mean, it's pretty, pretty close. So we're going to do that. All right, here we are. We're pretty much done. Uh, just got a little bit more to, to refine. See, we got a little, kind of a little notch right there. So it's little places like that that I have to clean up. And it kind of looks straight, looking straight on to this leg there looks like it's a little fat on this side just little detail stuff like that that I have to go uh, through and do but it's basically carved um, and and the ball looks good I think so it looks like you know this the top part here and this it looks like that's on the same arc same with this one and you know, the frontal view looks like it's it's there and the same the same thing. That's that's the most important part of doing these any bone claw is to get that ball to look like a ball, one continuous ball and not four pieces of a ball. Uh, so that's good. So now um I've been kind of cleaning it up a little bit with the scrapers since I'm not a master carver. I can't get all the little notches out of there. Um so I use little scrapers to uh, to do that. Then you know I, I had this this one, and then I've got an assortment of little little ones I use. This one's for the ball, and then uh, you know needle files if I need to. Then um, so that'll do it for this episode. Um, we will. Uh, oops. <laughs> we got to work on the tops next time. So I got to cut away that waist, and then we're going to glue on the knees that go on here, and then we can carve the uh, the design that goes on this goes from the knees and and down. We need to carve all of that. So that'll be next episode. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, hit the like button and uh, share with any friends that are interested in this uh, kind of woodworking. Thank you.